Do you want to learn about a cool material? Great. What's your name? All right, cool. I want you to take this, uh, and I want you to uh, describe for me, what does this look like? Yeah, it kind of looks like a paste in there. Uh, it's got kind of an interesting color scheme, right? It's like green and purplish. Interesting. Rub it in your hands and tell me what happens. Okay, so we see that it kind of changes colors, gets a little bit more neon, and as it cools, then we start seeing these purples and reds and greens. If you put it on a heating pad, you can see some pretty distinct color changes that way too. So what do you think is in here? Yeah, it's actually, this is called liquid crystals. Liquid crystals is the name of this material. So do you know what a liquid is? Yeah, have you ever heard of a crystal? Okay, so what are some examples of liquids, like water and, uh, and such? And then crystals, uh, like diamonds, are a kind of crystal. So this liquid crystal is in between these phases. So we have a liquid phase where all of the molecules are all disoriented and they're all over the place. And then in a solid phase, all of the molecules are locked tight and rigid. Well, liquid crystal phase is right in between those two. And so it has, it, it mo its molecules can move and change orientation based on different stimuli or the environment. So, uh, for instance, this liquid crystal, the mo molecules are changing orientation when there's different temperature. And when they change that orientation, they bend the light and create a different color change. So that's why we see many different colors. So we can find liquid crystals in all, all sorts of places, actually. Uh, we can find them in televisions, in your calculator, uh, in your LCD watches. In fact, I have a watch right here uh, that if I took this apart, uh, because it's not a very expensive watch, I don't mind taking it apart, you can go ahead and push down on that right there. What do you notice? Yeah, you can see that color change happening. There's liquid crystals in this watch. And the electricity in the watch is what gets them to change their orientation and show numbers. What you can use this is uh, for different sensors, actually. Uh, so if, you th if let's say that we're both spies, and you needed to communicate to me which one of these keys was the right key. But you can't do it with words because the KGB is on our tail. So what you're going to do is just warm up one of these keys. Now, I'm not going to look. So warm up the key. You warm it up with your hand. And I can use the liquid crystal here right here to show me which key it is that you touched. See, the, the liquid crystals in this paper respond to the heat and change orientation, which bends the light, and that's what allows me to see it. What else could we use this for? Well, scientists at the university are doing a little bit different sort of thing uh, using liquid crystals uh, as a sensor. And uh, what they're doing is they're using it to sense uh, different toxins in materials. And to illustrate that, we have a model here, because scientists like models, we have a model that instead of using uh, toxic gas or toxic bacteria, we, the, uh, the liquid crystals in this slide will actually change orientation with just the scent of this marker. So let me just give you, uh, let me just show you a little bit better about what this is. We've got some liquid crystals on what we call a microarray pillar uh, in this slide, in a little chamber in this slide. And it's sandwiched between these two things called polarizers. Now that's what's going to let us see the color change. So we put that in here, and we uncap our marker and put it into the chamber. Uh, what is it going to mean? What's going to happen when it changes the orientation of the liquid crystals? That's right, we're going to get a color change because it's going to be bending the light. So what we see in there are all of these microarray pillars, and these are all full of liquid crystal molecules. And as the scent fills up the chamber, we see a color change happen. So this is a way that we can use liquid crystals as a sensor for uh, everyday things and to help keep us safe.